Hello everyone, uh, this is a video on data handling. In this video, we're going to look at measures of central tendency. When they talk about measures of central tendency, they're talking about the mean, the median, and the mode. Okay, how do you calculate the mean? The mean is also called an average. So how do you calculate that? When you're given a data set, you add all the data set and remember to, to press equals to. Then you divide by the number of the items that are there. If you don't press equals to and you're using a scientific calculator, it's going to divide the last number also, only. So you have to add all of them, say equals to, and then divide by the total of the items. The median, the median is the middle number, but it's not just the middle number. You have to arrange your data in ascending order. Ascending order means you start with the smallest one up to the biggest one. If you just pick up the middle number and it's not arranged in an ascending order, that's not the median. So you ascend your data in the ascending order first and then you find the middle one. That will be your, your median. And then the mode. The mode is the most occurring value, meaning that the one that comes more often uh, than the other that has. If you have maybe where the, you have maybe a eight coming twice and you have a seven coming three times, then your mode would be a seven. It, it's, the mode is not necessarily a number that is more than once. No, it's a number that, okay, most often than the other that. Let's look at an example. Here is our example. They say find the measure of central tendency. If in an exam they ask you that, they are asking you to find the mean, the median, and the mode. So we're going to start with the first one. The mean, you don't necessarily have to arrange your data. You can just edit. So with your mean, you're going to add, take your calculator, add all of them. Right. When you add all of them, you get 420. Then you're going to divide by the number. How many are they? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it's divided by 11. And then your answer is 38.18. So this is your mean or the other name that they use is average. Let's do the, the second one, the median. With the median, you have to arrange your, your data first in ascending order. So you, you start with the smallest data. In our tens, I have eight. I have an eight here and an eight here. There. So it's eight and eight. And then tens, I don't have. Twenties, I have a 25. You tick it, you write it 25 so that you don't miss any number. And then 26. I don't have another 20. Then I go to my 30s. 30s, I have a 30. And then a 37. Do I have another 30? No. 40s, I have a 42. And a 46. I don't have another 40. 50. A 55. Mm -hmm. And a 56. Okay. And then 60s. I don't have anything. 70s. I don't have 80s. Then I have an 87. Right. Then you count your, your, your data, the new one that you have written. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So there are 11. And you look at your tick, everything is ticked. So it's it's correct. You really have to put all the data in. If you miss something, all your answers are going to be wrong. Okay, let's find the me median, median, the middle number. Okay, because my total data set has 11 items, so it means it's the sixth one, which will be five, one, two, three, four, five, is this one. One, two, three, four, five. So my median is 37. And then my mode. My mode is the most occurring number. In this data set, 8 appears twice. So my mode is 8. If I had maybe another number appearing three times, that would be my mode. So this is how you do the measure of central tendencies, the mean, the median, and the mode. This is the end of our lesson.